hi welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is Isabel I am mum to Oliver who has just turned four and I've got a baby girl Alice who is three months old so I thought today I'd do a sleep and evening routine video because we've been in this house now like nearly two weeks which is crazy so I feel like we're definitely starting to really settle into a little routine now and it's obviously very new to us having a preschooler and a baby to fit into one flowing routine in the evening so I just thought I'd share with you what we're doing. If you ever need any sleep tips at all, whether it's getting a newborn to sleep, sleep progression, that kind of thing, Channel Mum have a whole load of information, lots of videos, and even a sleep expert. So you can check out everything they have to offer. I'll leave the link below, but here's a little sneak peek of what they've got. So we'll start this evening routine with picking up Oliver from nursery. Sometimes I go and get him with Nate, and other times Nate just brings him home on the way back from work. Because we've moved house, it's still within walking distance, but it's a lot of a longer walk for him, so I think it definitely tires him out. And luckily it's been quite nice recently, but I think as we're getting the colder and darker nights coming, I think there'll be a lot more quick car journeys. <laughs> but we'll see, we'll see how we get on. So we have tea pretty much straight away. Definitely gonna have to be a lot more organised when I go back to work. I think the slow cooker might have to make a reappearance. So Alice is obviously just on milk at the moment. So she'll either sit in a bouncy chair while we're eating or if she's been a little bit grumpy, she can sit on our knee and watch us eat just to get her used to being around the table at tea time in the tea time setting. I'm sure she's desperate to try and eat our food already, but another month or so yet and then we'll we'll start down that journey. <laughs> So it's Ollie's bedtime first, he goes to bed at 7 o'clock, that is the general rule. And it's not bath night every night, but on the night I filmed this, we did baths. So Ollie goes first because Alice doesn't really go to bed yet until about around 9ish. So we've not actually started bathing them at the same time yet. So Ollie goes first and he likes his bath because it's a lot bigger. The bath in the new house, it doesn't look that big, but it, trust me, it is a lot bigger than the one we had in our other house. So Ollie will have a bath, we'll wash his hair, he can play around with his toys for a little bit, and then we'll get him all dry, get him in his PJs and do his teeth. <laughs> That's perfect. Stay still. Wow. He is really, really good at bedtimes, actually. He just gets himself all tucked in and just goes to sleep. It's really good. We have a couple of stories, and then recently, he got a Google for his birthday, so he goes, hey Google, play me a bedtime story, and he listens to a couple of those after I've read him a story, and then he just goes to sleep, he's just really, really good, and because we've moved house, we haven't put um, a baby gate on his door, and he's really good at staying in his room, and even in the morning, he'll still stand at the door and go, can I come in your room? So he's not, he's either not clicked that he can walk out the room on his own, or he's just being good. <laughs> So once Ollie's asleep, it's Alice's turn. The last week or so, she has been showing signs of sleepiness between 8 and 9 o'clock, and it's starting to get a little bit earlier each night, so I think she will be going to bed more around 7, 8-ish in the next few weeks, I think. And she sleeps through. Like, I don't want to jinx anything, but honestly, I think it's been over two weeks now where she's sleeping from around 9-ish to, like, half 6, 7 in the morning, so... <laughs> That's good, I mean it could all change, but you never know, this might be it forever. <laughs> Wishful thinking. So I'll usually catch up on a bit of Hollyoaks with, with Alice, get her into the good shows while she's young. <laughs> I know a lot of people will be like, oh my god, Hollyoaks. But yeah, it's my guilty pleasure. So we used to bath Alice in the living room at the old house, but because we're here now, we've got a new carpet, so why not just bath her in the bathroom? There's a lot more room up there now. So still put her little bath in the bath. And she has a good old wash there and we use the baby dove stuff at the moment and that is about it no shampoo or anything yet and as you can see here she is not a fan of getting out the bath and getting into her pjs um not happy at all and the cream i use on her is the johnson's naturals it smells amazing i use it for myself actually it's so nice and then we'll go downstairs and have a bottle before bed and she's on six ounces at the moment so at the moment she is still falling asleep in my arms, but then I'll take her upstairs, now this is very new, I'll take her upstairs and put her in her, this is her next to me crib, and I'll put the baby monitor on and I'll go downstairs, but yeah, that's only a very recent thing and I'm up and down the stairs every five minutes just to check on her, even though I've got the baby monitor on and it's on full volume, so I can hear literally any noise from the room. But that is it, then she just stays asleep till 
fingers crossed till the morning so that's it guys that's our very new evening and bedtime and sleep routines hope you enjoyed it i might film another one of these in like you know six months just to compare any questions at all please comment below and let me know and i'll, I'll answer those but yeah, hope you enjoyed this and please give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you very soon in the next video. Bye!